Hello friends, welcome to Technoi channel. Today we will discuss about the VOE framework. Earlier in my channel, I have given an overview about this framework, how this is very lightweight and performance wise it is a bit better. So today I will help you to uh, install and create some small, you know, uh, applications or not exactly the applications, some kind of small tutorials I will create. Now let's get started with the installation step. Okay, so we can use the CDN or we can install using NPM. So I will show you how to install using NPM and use in, in our, you know, folder structure. So I am using my favorite ID or code editor Visual Studio Code. So let me open this uh, command prompt. npm install ue. Okay. So this install, but I'm surprising to notice that it doesn't have any dependency. Uh, I'll explore it more on that and we'll update you in future videos. But as of now, it is just install this version 2 of UE. Okay. So let's try to create any simple index.html page. Sorry. So here we can create scriptic. Uh, not exactly. I'm. I don't know why I'm missing this T over here. Wait. Sorry for that. So we can <coughs> using the source directly, and we can use this node modules. So we'll use this BUE, we'll go to the dish folder and we'll use this BUE minimum because I, I, I'm not interested to debug on inside it, so it should be fine. So once I able to install, so you can use any kind of CDN or there are other mechanisms to install also. So you can give it a try. Okay, now to use it, we can create some body tag and we can create a division so inside this division so here we can specify by using class or id let's say we given a class so let me give my tech noise we can use any prefix so that will be help us to identify the state ah okay and uh, let us uh, inside this add let me want to print my title so here we can create another script tag okay well, this one looks like i'm given it correctly anyway sometimes this i just to stop a couple of for you know extension sometime it is auto completed is coming and not never mind up is equal to we have to create a, a new you know object of voe uh, so using a new keyword we can create an instance of it our instance name known as application okay and inside we have to pass an object an object first is the element name so here we have used id our id is uh, technoise hyphen f okay then we can pass any data in our example our data is title so tech noise hello vue.js framework okay so this would be good now let us open my chrome browser okay so this is this is it but one also fundamental thing i have to do even though I have written the script tag over here, this won't get executed automatically. 
Usually in the jQuery, it is a bit better method to do that, but I will just create a little bit hacky way. So I'll, you know, create a click handler on load on the body. So I'll try to call a init method. And inside the script tag, let me define the init method over here. Function init. Okay. And inside this initialization, you know, function, let me put all this uh, block of code. Okay, now it looks like it is good. So here we have added the library we can use from CDN or you can download and use it. So this is the ID tag. Here we have used in the Elementor element. And this is the title. And this here we received it. And let us try to open in the browser. So this is where I am. Okay, there is some problem. It seems like I have done it. Okay, this function spelling I have done mistake. Now it looks good. This will work. Okay. See, tech noise. Hello, view e. So this is quite easy. This is how we can bind a view with a JavaScript model. If we change this value to something else, hello world. So automatically the data over here will be get modified. So in programmatically we can change this value and we can play around it. We can also uh, bind this particular, you know, data into any attribute. For example, let me create a paragraph and let me give a class. So this class can be, you know, um, active or something. Therefore, this is important okay so let me create a, a simple set of style um, okay and this uh, dot active color is red okay so let me see this uh, okay this is important color is coming so let, let me change, let me define another uh, class, uh, default, okay. Now we'll change this color as black. So this is my default color. So if I, okay, nothing will happen because this, uh, if I change default, black. So if let's say I would like to, you know, pass this from this uh, programming from the JavaScript object, for example, I can define a class name or you can give any variable name. So here we can mention active. Okay. So I will explain you how to say bind to this particular attributes. So here we can see B, view I, they have used this prefix, then bind. Then we can use the class. And inside this default, we can give this class name. So let's see here it is working or not. So this is active. So ideally this will change to the red color. So, okay. So there is some problem it seems. Okay. Uh, this particular binding, this is the application. Okay. So whenever we are creating this BUI, the root level scope for this is TN application. So all this variable or whatever we define will be available here. This particular thing we define outside this. So it won't, you know, uh, take this value from here. Let us define over here. And here we can change this to class name. Okay. So now this division is the root level element. So this is where it will point to and all the data we can use only inside it. We cannot use outside of it. Okay. So now we bind this class name. Let us uh, reload it. This is important. Now if you would like to change this class name to default. So this particular attribute will be changed. Okay. And also remember like here we have used curly bracket. There is no need to give curly bracket over here. We can simply give the class name in this case only. Okay. 
Also, some of the conditional element we can give. For example, uh, let us define a paragraph. Okay. Uh, nothing important in life except how well. Just simply one small, my favorite quotation I have added. In this paragraph, I can give ng or no, not sorry, ng. I am from Angular, so I just always think ng. V hyphen if is equal to we can give some variable is quote enable. Okay, so this is the variable. This variable we have to define over here. So we can give either true or false. Let's let me start with true. So if I set as a true and we reload, okay, why this title is complaining? Okay, this is not a semicolon, but it is just simple. Okay, so this paragraph is coming, there is no problem as HTML. So for example, if I do not want to display this paragraph, so if I make false, so and I and this reload the space, see that paragraph is completely hidden or display is none. So if you see over here, it is not appearing at all. So it gets just get rid of it. Okay. So it is not uh, um, hide it or changing some CSS. It's simply deleting from this DOM element. Now, for example, uh, we have an array. Okay. Now, uh, city list. So we have an array and then we have some properties. For example, name of this city is New York. Okay, then New Delhi, Chicago. So we have defined few object inside one variable. Just for simplicity, let me get rid of this particular, you know, earlier example. And here we can define any list. Let me create a um, unordered list. Then we can create a lie element. And here, let me try to print cd dot name. Okay. And also we can use one more uh, syntax from VUE V hyphen four is equal to city in city list. Okay, so this will loop over this particular variable and uh, this each object will be come and uh, saved over in the city and we are accessing this name property. So uh, let me save it and let me run it over here. Okay, so New York, New Delhi, Chicago. Let's say for example, we have some other property. Okay, what else? Um, maybe we have some other attribute like population. Uh, maybe 23 million. Uh, we have population maybe 10 million, population maybe around 45 million. So there are some integer I have given. If, for example, I would like to, this city has city dot population has 20 million people. Okay, so I can see the face the information. New York has 23 million people, Chicago has 45 million people. This looks good. So, 
I think I will create uh, several other tutorials about VUE. This is just an introduction, uh, giving a basic uh, overview about how we can create and install it and use it. So thanks for me very much for watching. If you like this video, please like this or subscribe to it. Please share in your Twitter and any Facebook feed. So please give some encouragement to me. And thanks very much for watching. Again, have a nice day ahead. Bye-bye.